Hey yo, what's up? Maji here, and we are back with Dive into Dreamcatcher episode 13. Now, if uh, you've taken into account that we are doing two weeks of Dive into Dreamcatcher, episode 13 is supposed to be the last one. Because we started with episode 0, right? And, well, uh, my schedule got disrupted, and then when... I was able to come back. We amped things up a bit because, well, uh, hopefully with the way I'm releasing stuff right now, by tomorrow, we are going to be able to react to Dreamcatcher's latest comeback, Vision. So, uh, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. Uh, to get through all the title tracks in these two weeks of diving into Dreamcatcher. That way, um, once the Dive into Dreamcatcher series is over, I can just uh, check out the other uh, albums and B-sides and extra content at leisure. Right? Because we are starting another group next week. The last group that I'm going to be adding to my roster for a while. Yeah, that's that that one is next week. And then all the groups that I have in my rosters, I, uh, I will just be uh, digging through their extra content for uh, for the near future. But yeah, hopefully we get through all the title tracks of the of Dreamcatcher by tomorrow. Maybe even a bonus, who knows. So anyways, today we're going to be checking out Dreamcatcher's Odd Eye MV as well as their dance practice. And yeah, uh, I believe Handong is back. So I'm really excited. Let's, get, let's actually just get right to it and check out Dreamcatcher's Odd Eye. Okay, we have Yuyon in a chair that looks like a mask. Ooh. This, se this seems like a familiar futuristic setting. I can't quite place what it's, how, why, uh, how it's familiar. Ooh, is that in the shape of an eye? I guess we'll see it more in the choreography. Ooh, love the... Finger details there. Oh, here we have Handong. There's the tree. Oh, I'm reading the lyrics. I, I'm getting this sense. Oh, is that Sion with the blonde hair? Looks really good on her. And she also has like blue contacts. Hmm. Nice rap flow. What's written on Sua's face? And what happened to Guy Hun's face? So many stickers. So Jiu has an odd eye. It is glowing. No more utopia. So it really is dystopia. 
조금씩 조금씩 사라져가는 걸망 나를 따라만 오는 줄 알았던 그림자를 따라가는 듯이 바꾸지 못하는 운명 속에 희망은 더 사라져가 그래 눈을 가려 This is actually such a sad song. And Gio is burning up. Oh, wow, I just noticed Gion's eyes there. One was purple, one was blue. In the end, the dream catchers couldn't find the utopia what they dreamed of. I think that was actually correct grammar, but in the old style, like kind of like Shakespearean style. What uh, couldn't find the utopia what they dreamed of. Unless that is a typo and it's supposed to be that they dreamed of but uh uh what they dreamed of is kind of acceptable in shakespearean language i think not an expert on shakespeare as well uh just some familiarity with uh reading in that um yeah like i mentioned it's like i was paying attention to the lyrics in this one and it is it it kind of has like a very tragic uh well it's telling a tragic story you know like a hope is fading away like the, 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 what they're just looking at is like the plausible lies and uh basically the hope that they were envisioning for a utopia i think is uh probably just like an illusion and so they couldn't find utopia i'm not supposed to be surprised by this the the series of the last few mvs right like i think it's like this is a series of three albums right it's called dystopia <laughs> And so you really shouldn't be expecting Utopia to come from Dystopia. But either way, if you if you are familiar with uh, the concept of Utopia in science fiction, Utopia actually is kind of dystopian. Like, There really isn't such a thing as like a true utopia. If you ever try to have, uh, try to get a state of utopia, it does end up becoming dystopian. So that's probably the message here, maybe. Anyway, yeah, th that's that's kind of what I'm getting. Anyways, the members in the MV look really really cool. First of all, nice to see Handong back. Uh, really like the the tinge of blue to her hair. Um, the blonde hair of Sion though is just really really striking. And then there were some shots where just like, what's going on? Like, like Gaion with the stickers on her face. I don't know why, but but to me that image just makes me feel as though Kion is a kid with chicken pox. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Maybe because like the stickers on her face remind me of those like uh kitty bandages that look like stickers. And then the way it's plastered onto her face looks like like uh, the proper distancing and spread for chicken box pustules. Uh, I don't know. It just it just uh, struck my funny chord in that way. 
but in the opposite direction we have uh sua with those streaks under her eyes i think it was some kind of writing i'm not sure unless it was just some random squiggly lines but uh that one looked kind of intimidating so yeah uh a lot of a lot of cool shots in this mv um Also, the part where Jiu was burning and then she was blindfolded. It's. I don't know exactly what's happening there, but I feel like uh, there's an important part of the story going on in that portion. Anyways, um, yeah, I think. I'm not sure what else to say about the MV. Oh, the song! Um, the song for me was just okay. It was solid. Uh, didn't strike me too much, uh, preference-wise. But it's a good, solid song. I would probably just put it in my chill playlist. Uh, although it kind of sounds like it would belong on my vibe playlist. It's, it's more of a vibe, actually. Um, what else can I say about the song? I think the reason why it's not uh, it doesn't strike my preferences is because, well, the the mood and the tone of the song. I'm I'm generally more drawn to uh, more optimistic stuff, and so. Uh, Whenever there's pessimistic stuff going on like this, my mind tends to disconnect me from it in order to avoid the depression. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's still a good solid song and I'll probably still listen to it from time to time. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out the dance practice. Uh, I did spot some interesting moves earlier hopefully hopefully we'll see more of them so here we are with dreamcatcher's odd eye dance video okay with a bunch of extra dancers yep it is shaped like an eye okay these details like going around their eyes Hmm. Is that silver hair on Gaia? Oh, nice short cannon there. Okay, so I guess that was the point choreography, the one with their eyes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I love the detail in that point choreography. Cannon there. Yeah, I, I really love that 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 point choreography where they do the the finger movements are near the eyes. Okay. 
Okay. Wonder if anything else is gonna happen here. Oh, nice. I like that transition. Oh, and the fan out there. Ooh, okay. They amped it up just a little bit. And high kick. Okay, so that was Dreamcatcher's Odd Eye dance video. So, um, I love the details, uh, especially the hand movement, the finger movement. Um, I like the intro with the, them forming the eye, right? And, uh, and really, they're, they're keeping up the the intensity and the the expression when it comes to this song of course it's uh it's something that the song calls for given that uh the the theme that it's talking about right and uh one thing that i will repeat again like Something that I've mentioned in almost every reaction to uh, Dreamcatcher's choreography is that I really like their transitions. Especially that one uh, fan out transition that they did towards the end there. Um, I think it's the one where uh, they ended up in a, like, a diagonal fan out and then Gaion's in the center. Uh, I really like asymmetrical fanouts like those. Rather than the regular, usual, uh, either V shape or inverted V shape fanouts, or just line fanouts. Uh, the diagonal line just looks so cool, and it lends to like a change in perspective, right? Because one one end is nearer to you than the other. And so the perspective shift kind of plays around in your head a little bit. Uh, that's why it's it's kind of effective as a visual hook. <laughs> Not sure quite what else to say. <laughs> I love the silver hair on Guy on there. Like, uh, was that also her hair in the MV? I didn't quite notice. But it was more evident here in the dance practice video. And, uh, yeah, it's nice to see that Dreamcatcher is getting a bit more comfortable with, um, other backup dancers. Especially as an enhancement to to add details around them. And it's good to see that uh, they have this balance. That, that the members of Dreamcatcher still are, you know, star of the show, right? Uh, the extra backup dancers are just there to really embellish or enhance on the sidelines. So yeah, that's that's another good thing to see. Uh, with what they've done so far with uh, this odd eye and the, the the previous one, Boca. And um, I can't remember the other uh, previous MV that I checked out with that, that also had backup dancers. Um, I believe it was uh, Scream. Yeah. Uh, that's it basically um, 
I'll Die is just a solid track for me. Um, I might get into it more after a few more listens, but uh, honestly speaking, uh, this sits a little bit outside my preference zone. Probably because of the de very depressing theme. So my mind automatically like uh yeah like tries to avoid the depression that would ensue but anyways uh yeah i i guess that's it for my reaction to well uh, sorry 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 before i close this out not to not to say that the song being depressing is bad right some people might find it cathartic and even therapeutic and it's just that it's uh not for me anyways yeah let's let's close this out now so that's it for my reaction to dreamcatcher's odd eye and well don't forget to like comment and subscribe also feel free to check out my patreon where i also post reactions to longer form content more casual content most of which is also available for free with some extra bonus content set aside for those who are kind enough to subscribe anyways feel free to check that out the link to my Patreon is in the description down below. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for joining me on this... <sighs> wonderful... Supernatural journey with Dreamcatcher. And until next time, have a great day everyone. And hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.